the scientists are coming out now and saying, yeah, so now we know what dinosaurs actually sounded like. It's like, so what you've been selling us as truth our entire lives, at least me as a millennial, my entire life I was taught what dinosaurs sound like as absolute scientific fact that cannot change. This is what they sound like. But now scientists, the consensus, shout out to Tyson, Neil deGrasse, you know, the consensus now rules that dinosaurs actually sounded like this. And, you know, it's this weird, like, it sounds like trucks are losing their tire. It's like, blah, 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 <laughs> like, it sounds like, yeah, I guess you can try to make some idea because assuming they have certain vocal cords and then maybe their size. And Well, don't sell me something as fact and then sell me something else that's completely opposite as the same fact. Now I'm not going to believe any either of them. I'm left to wonder, well, maybe you were lying to me then and telling me the truth now, or maybe... You were telling me the truth then, and now you're lying now. I don't know. For the ones who believe it, like the actual scientists who studies this stuff, their mind is, well, we were probably wrong, and now we're making a better correction. But Yeah, when I was in school, they didn't work in the field of probabilities. That's religious talk. Oh, you they have worked to, in, because nobody knows. Yeah, but they worked in this field of, we know, like, these molecules do this, these atoms do this. If you question anything... You are one of those religious not Because whether you're religious or not, you get deemed as a religious person. Even if you're a scientist who hates religion, you are now seen as a religious nutcase because you question the consensus.